Uh, Geekmade Designs, we, we make uh, really high-end gaming furniture for gaming controllers and consoles. A lot of streamers out there like really high-end controllers, they want to be able to show them off, so we like to be able to make really nice hardwood holders that allow them to kind of accentuate their controllers. You know, our gaming history goes way back, I guess. Back in the early 2000s, what was it, 2001, when the original Xbox came out, and we played the original Halo, and we played campaign on that, and I was shocked that I loved playing it too, and it wound up being like our date nights together. And uh, we always had our controllers laying around, my wife's like... It was super messy, I would mention it to Garen, and he, in his engineering mind, thought, well, what if I carve the shape of gaming controllers and gaming hardware out of wood. I ended up designing a little holder for it. We thought it was kind of cool. What if we sold those? I've never seen those before. No one's ever seen those before. They don't exist. Over time, we just decided to, to start throwing a, a couple online, and lo and behold, here we are. 2018 is when we really kicked it off. And you know, early days, we, we weren't doing marketing. We were just kind of trying to figure out how we would get our, our name out there. So we just started sending holders out to, to various influencers and, and people. And we, we caught the eye of one of our ex, one of the Xbox influencers, and it got picked up on, on his video. And then the, the VP of Xbox came and was kind of a, a surprise visit, and he started talking about him. And we really just kind of went nuts for the holiday. That was like, you know, just shot right out of the roof. Our slowest time of the year, we may get down to 50 holders a, a month. Uh, in the holidays and post-holidays, we often will get multiple hundred. Sometimes we get large corporate orders, which those can be a, a few hundred holders just in those. So, you know, we can we can run four or five hundred a, a month in, in some cases. So this isn't my full-time job. I have a, a day job where I work with 3D modeling software. In fact, I use a lot of that for the work that we do here. Uh, my wife and I manage and, and run Geekmade Designs. Garen is the engineer and does all of like the design work and everything with the machines. That's not my forte at all. Uh, people ask me questions and I just point them to Garen. But for me, I handle pretty much everything else. So local school, we, we work with the engineering group and talk with them a bit and some of the machines they use. And um, somehow it came up. He said, yeah, there's a local company here in Cartersville. You should check them out. Called them up, went and, went and got a little demo, what they were working on noodled on it a little bit and then ordered one and uh, couldn't wait to get it. I have the Canmaster Panther. It's the 4x4, so it's their smaller footprint. Um, we got the tool changer, the 8-tool changer on it and the, the vacuum table. With having my full-time job, I can't spend a lot of time out here just messing all the time. It's not a full-time thing. So for me, it was how can I set it up at, at night so in the morning I can turn it on, let it run, you know, supervise a little bit, but let it run. And I couldn't do that before. I was always switching bits, you know, having hold downs and spend a lot of time. So now I can just drop a raw piece of wood on, face it off, and then have it go through three or four different tools. And when it, I pop it off and it's done. I almost wish we had a 20 tool changer now because we just keep adding more and more tool paths. But uh, being able to automate tools has been awesome. And then, you know, just the, the vacuum table, we can drop a piece of wood on, it holds it down, and, and we can mill it without having to do fixturing is, is a, a game changer for us. I love my day job. I don't know that I see, you know, having this completely be our revenue, but, you know, we'd like to grow it. Uh, we'd like to be able to have some more product lines and, you know, scale it a bit. But with that, we have to automate it so that we're not spending a lot of time in all the things that we do. So. That was a big part of us bringing the cam master in and even then we're always looking for ways to, to speed it up and make our shop a lot quicker.